Oswald Oyster is being accused of eating a bird on stage during his recent concert. Oswald claims that he was in the middle of a solo when the bird suddenly flew into his mouth without warning. <laughs> As I said, folks, pop cultural references. Eating birds on stage? Is that what they call entertainment these days? Actually, the bird flew into my client's mouth by accident. Don't you think it's strange that this is the third time such an accident has happened to your client? It may sound strange, but I believe that there's a scientific explanation for everything. Like what? Well, he does have a rather large mouth. And that would attract birds. It's like with me. I have a rather large ego, which attracts women. Oh, like Susan Maple? What? She told you about that? She told everyone about that. Oh, did she? Did she also mention that... She's Canadian? No. The other day, I even heard her talking about free health care. That's terrible. I know. Just promise not to tell anyone, okay? Especially not the other prosecutors. Sure, Max. Sure. Excellent. Of course, uh, Max's suit and tie have changed as well to reflect what bought him. I just, uh, what I bought. It's just so small that I never noticed it on my first playthrough. The size did matter. Okay. We got Jack Bourbon here. Got a witness and a piece of evidence. Well, let's see what I can do to destroy all of this. Let's see if I can analyze this down and save myself an action point. <sighs> all right. I can do this all day. I'll have to deal with it then. Okay. Uh, deep voice. Combine that with an interrogate. Shut down this witness, leaving only Jack, who only deals uh, four points of damage. Not a big deal. So we'll just go ahead and take all of that. Easy okay. now. Let's uh, throw down an intimidate, reduce his credibility, and follow that up with an interrogate. Take him out. Max. Max. Bird eater tastes freedom. Client says, "I wonder what's for dessert." Following that with Mary Guildman. Mary has failed to pay a total of 73 parking violation tickets. Mary says that she thought the tickets were just advertisement flyers, so she threw them away. Brought to us by Roger. Thanks, Raj. I've been thinking, Max. And I think I've figured out your secret. That I'm a born winner? <laughs> Not really. All I can say is that perhaps... Your winning days will soon be over. <laughs> oh, really? The next time you see me, I think you'll notice something different. Uh, okay. So, should we get started with the case? Uh, sure. Max McMahon is just humoring Roger there. Of course, Roger and a coach and a truckload of witnesses. Very painful. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. Maybe. Ideally, we'll want to remove every single witness off the board. Can we manage to do that? We'll see. Let's, uh... uh huh. Let's discredit this witness. Better luck next time. And then... Hmm. I want to have enough points to throw down an objection, which means I can only spend three points. That's not good enough. Unless I take out the coach. I can always take out the coach. Maybe. Because I need to be able to survive this. Huh. What if... No, Roger's up there, too. It'll be a pain in the ass. I want to save the Intimidate. Which means... Uh... Uh-oh, no. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad that means... Uh-oh. It means... Oh, shit. Get out of here. Bye-bye now. 
Alright, she's gonna have nine credibility. But we'll be able to take care of that with an intimidate, taking her down to four. Deep voice. And interrogate. Two yeah, action points to donate to I'm charity. Parking violator gets ticket to freedom. Attorney says a fine verdict indeed. Cause he's the devil's attorney. The devil's attorney. Ah. Probably gotta get my swag on. I'm not looking for any more uh, materialism points, so it's just gonna be between decadence and vanity. Which, uh, it's great, because both of those are choices there. And in here, they're all choices. Great, it's all comparisons just between them. It's a matter of what I think looks cooler. Also, I, I guess I'll probably go for the reverse psychology one over vanity swagger. Or maybe I'll just increase them both. Let's get up to hypnotize, then, I reckon. We'll buy the most expensive items? Nah, we'll probably just buy the cheapest stuff. Although, that does look pretty dumb. I, I want the... that, yeah. We'll get some jazzy wave going on. Yeah! Oh, it's so modern. So modern indeed. And, uh, because this is cheaper, We'll get some vanity going, although it would make better sense to just try to power through the next uh, bonus, wouldn't it? That would. Ah, yeah, yeah, and I can only buy, what, two more items? Yeah, yeah, okay. That does make more sense. Debbie Young. Debbie is in trouble again, and this time for forging checks. Debbie claims innocence and says that she's ready to fight anyone who says otherwise. In this case, a security camera. Mike was the name of him, by the way. So, it seems like Debbie, your delicate flower, has once again ended up on the wrong side of the law. And once again, you can see the innocence in her eyes. That's funny, because all I see is a diabolic red glow. Why can't you see the Debbie I see? The one who feeds the homeless and helps old ladies cross the street? She doesn't do those things. Well, maybe not, but she does have a good heart. Says who? Her doctor? Well, perhaps she should work as an organ donor then. Now that's a job she could put her heart into. What? Oh. Uh, of course there's no security camera here. Just a bunch of witnesses testifying on behalf of the security camera, and they all do annoying amounts of damage with that plus two bonus. So all of them are dangerous. Which is a damn shame, I assure you. And all of them have five credibility, meaning I really have to use the big guns in order to deal with them. Pain in my ass. Well, let's get started here. So sad to see you go already. It's gonna deal six damage to me. Not gonna be able to do it. All right. All right. We'll be fine, folks. We can do this. We have the technology. I'm gonna have to eliminate all of the next turn. Go ahead and get that down. It's my expense there and his damage oh, boost. I'm not there. Okay. Let's go ahead and maximize damage of the next attack. We'll follow that up with an interrogate. And there's more where that came from. He'll deal three points of damage. She would deal an extra four on top of that, which would take me to seven. Uh, I think I'm fine. Lucky? Yeah! Yep, I'm amazing. Now we, uh... 
shore that up a bit. Making sure that he doesn't deal any damage to me at all, or we try to patronize him. We'll go for the patronize. Not that it matters. That's I'm just gonna double cross examine him. But I didn't now even need to. Talking. Charges bounce for check forger. Client says I even got to keep the checkbook. Nice. Go in here and uh get some decadence in there. And what's available out here? Right. The red flag. Go ahead and buy that sweet, sweet couch. It's a cell phone, but it's also a work of art. Yeah. I think this will be the last. <laughs> yeah, you already saw it. Might as well do make this the last one of the video. Clark Wayne. Clark was arrested after neighbors had reported a suspicious character sneaking around dressing as a superhero. Clark claims innocence and blames his crime-fighting alter ego. Because of course he does. So if your client is really a superhero, why doesn't he just break through the wall and free himself? He's not the Incredible Hulk, Margaret. His powers are more subtle than that. What makes you think he has any powers at all? He's a superhero. Of course he has powers. Like what? Well, uh, for example, um, he can read minds. Really? So what am I thinking now? You're thinking, oh, Max is such a fantastic, brilliant, and handsome attorney. No, I believe those are your thoughts, Max. What? Those could be anyone's thoughts. Oh. Yep, truckloads of evidence. Here we come all over again. Fantastic. Well, in this case... <laughs> I've got a deep voice, and I'm gonna get rid of that aggravating expert. Probably. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the expert. Have a nice day. Looking at five points of damage there. Um. Yeah. Looking at five points of damage, which means I can't have her deal any damage to me at all, which means I need to object her, and then I'm going to use an Intimidate on her, too. The evidence assails the case. Which of course it does. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Merry Christmas. Uh, she has four credibility left. To go ahead and do an interrogate to finish the job. Max. Max. Eh. We'll shore all that up. And let's see if I can. Yep. Let's go ahead and work on this a bit. We have some evidence to deal with. And we're on a bit of a timer. You know what? how this, right? There we go. One piece of evidence taken care of. Uh, it's a two. Uh, don't know whether it would just be better to just slap down a bunch of analysis then. Huh. Well, we got our answer to that question, didn't we? Yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> so much evidence, so little time. Hmm. Well, I got another bonus turn. Let's not risk it. Well, at least this is the last try. round for the bonus? It sure is. Why am I doing analysis when I can just do the expert analysis? Just finish it all. Almost too easy. Alright. Masked Vigilante foils court. Client says the streets will be safe once again. Dur, 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 dur. And we're probably a little shy of... No, we're not. Yeah. 
No, that's Hypnotize right. is mine. 40 shekels left to my name. What awaits us next time? I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Bye-bye.